In the age of AI, the algorithms are transporting us into a universe of vast potential and transforming almost every aspect of human endeavor and experience. The graph uses a formula to show human development and growth since 2000 BCE. The state of human civilization is not very advanced and it's not getting better very quickly at all. And this is true for thousands and thousands of years. When we, when we formed empires and empires got overturned, when we tried democracy, when we invented zero and mathematics and fundamental discoveries about the universe, big deal. It just, the numbers don't change very much. What's weird is that the numbers change essentially in the blink of an eye at one point in time. And it goes from really horizontal, unchanging, uninteresting to holy Toledo, crazy vertical. And then the question is, what on earth happened to cause that change? And the answer is the Industrial Revolution. There were other things that happened, but really what fundamentally happened is we overcame the limitations of our muscle power. Something equally interesting is happening right now. We are overcoming the limitations of our minds. We're not getting rid of them, we're not making them unnecessary, but holy cow, can we leverage them and amplify them now? You have to be a huge pessimist not to find that profoundly good news. When I was an undergraduate, we all shared a computer at MIT that took up half a building. The computer on your cell phone today is a million times cheaper and a thousand times more powerful. That's a billion fold increase in price performance of computing since I was an undergraduate. Uh, by 2029, we'll have reverse engineered and modeled and simulated all the regions of the brain, and that will provide us the software, algorithmic methods to simulate you know, all of the human brain's capabilities, including our emotional intelligence, and computers at that time will be far more powerful than the human brain, and we'll be able to create machines that really do have the subtlety and suppleness of human intelligence, and they'll combine that power with ways in which machines are already superior to us. They can uh, harness all of human knowledge uh, with a few keystrokes. It can remember billions of things accurately. They can share knowledge at electronic speeds that are a million times faster than, than human language. So it'll be a very powerful combination. And these tools are continuing to grow exponentially in power. Uh, the singularity is not just that point where we achieve human level of intelligence in a machine. I mean, that will start a new revolution where these machines will continue to grow exponentially in power. They'll be able to actually improve their own software design. By 2045, we'll have expanded the intelligence of our human machine civilization a billion fold. That will be a singularity. And we borrowed this metaphor from physics to talk about an event horizon that's hard to see beyond. Well, it's not the case that I'm only looking at the optimistic side. I mean, I am an optimist and I do think We've been helped more than we've been hurt by technology already. Human life expectancy was 37 in 1800. But it's not, it's not accurate to say that I'm only painting a rosy future and that I have a utopian vision. My vision is not utopian. The same technologies that are empowering us to reprogram biology away from cancer and heart disease could also be used by a bioterrorist to reprogram a biological virus to be more deadly or more communicable. And what we do with these technologies is not preordained. That future history has not been written. I am very concerned about the downsides. Technology has been a double-edged sword ever since fire and stone tools.